Hey Analysis 2, this is Allison, Sam, and Steph coming at you with Worksheet 1.5. Let's take a look at the problem. It says, prove that if p is greater than 1, then the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of 1 over n ln raised to the p converges. And we're going to go ahead and use this theorem that we proved in class. So the first thing we want to do in order to set this theorem up is plug in a 2 to the k everywhere we see n in the original problem. So uh, this is going to be uh, the sum... Uh, let's not use that equal sign, actually. At least it's not going to be equal values. They're just going to kind of converge and diverge together. So let's consider, um, we're going to use a K now, and we have to be careful with the K value we pick. So um, we have to start at 1, because if, if we started at 0, it would be natural log of 2 to the 0, which is natural log of 1, which is 0. And you can't have 0 in the denominator. So we're going to go ahead and start at 1, and we're going to go to infinity. And it's going to be 1 over 2 raised to the K, times the natural log of 2 raised to the k, all that raised to the p, times by another 2 to the k. All right, and what we're going to see here is the 2 to the k and the 2 to the k here cancel. So let's see if we could clean these terms up. So we have the sum uh, from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over the natural log of 2 to the k all raised to the p in parentheses. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a precalculus rule to take this k which is the power of the logarand, and pull it in the front as the coefficient. So um, this, this now is going to equal the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over parentheses k times ln2, all raised to the p. Okay, and to consider this further, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move, get out of the way, screen cast by thing, uh, is we're going to move the... Um, the p, we're going to actually just distribute it to both of these two terms. So it's going to be the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k to the p. And this is just going to be times natural log of 2 all raised to the p. Um, but here's the cool thing. This natural log 2 raised to the p within the denominator is just a constant. So we can actually just remove it from the summation. Right? You can always pull constants out of sums. So... Let's see, this is going to be a 1 over the natural log of 2 raised to the p times the sum of k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k to the p. And now this, this right here, this looks really familiar. Uh, this is actually going to be a p series, right? And in class, we did learn that uh, if p is greater than 1, our series is actually going to converge. And so what we know is that this series right here converges because it's a p-series. Okay, and if we proved that this series right here converges, then from the original theorem, we know that if this, what we were working with just now, converges, then this, our original problem, also converges. So we are done.